And it, man, long, long, the long story short, the definition is, of independence is adapting to your your situation, adapting to your environment. That's just like right now, nigga. I don't know if my shit breaking up. Can you hear me? You can hear me short? A little bit, yeah. Um, is that is that I I hear you, but it is it is it's chopped up a little bit. Let me I'm gonna log off and log right back on. Let me try and jump off and jump right back in. Uh. For sure, for sure. Where that pull up at, man? Do I need a trade, man? I'm talking some of that H Town shit too, man. It's that shit, man. This world on my neck, I'm on the way to drive. Get some freaking position and go to play the drill. She got the dough and I'm finished. She ain't no saying chill. Days grind on the green, trying to play the deal. She missed the piece, feel the seat, got a play tree. In this big bag, looking like I was telling the truth. King, gotta do everything that I speak is valid. Make your wrist secure the bag. I come to look like a valley. Where I'm from, you play with me, they gon' lay him up like a bad man. Smoke sign, drink sign. All the girls twerking, shake sign. We get fucked up and don't know how to act. Detroit, man. Yeah, you need to uh, keep an ear out for that. Um, keep an ear out for that motherfucking um, the trunk series. It's a series. It's going on for a long time. Yeah, we back, man. We back. Yeah, yeah, man. The motherfucking. It be so many motherfuckers on IG. This shit just be niggas should be fucking up, man. Shit, what else we got right now? What, what we got? This shit better than TV, man. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Uh, shit, we really gonna have to figure this out. If they tell us we ain't gonna be doing concerts to twenty twenty one, so that's what you were saying. Yeah, we gotta figure out how to get this, get this uh to these telephones and get the same results, you know? Yeah, like the nigga, the nigga Tory. Tory got his own situation now based off this shit, which he probably making a killing. Boosie. Boosie even got a situation where he don't even have to be on live. He can go to a certain website to, to just yeah, to sink his own live. This, this live, man, I like IG, but this ain't quality, man. I'm, I'm quality in my shit. This ain't, this ain't quality. This ain't, this ain't HD. <laughs> you feel me? This man, ain't. believe it or not, bro, it's a whole bunch of majors. It's a whole bunch of majors. It's a whole bunch of companies paying niggas right now just to be on live. No but again, that's the independent hustle. You got to figure it out. Once you get the formula and the black print, you good. Well, you know what we doing, man. We over here grinding, bro. We grinding like a motherfucker. Yeah, see, and they, 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 you know, it's it's dope. We put out a record, but they just don't know, nigga. We so far ahead of the game. We got a video coming right behind it. You see what I'm saying? All the visual, everything, man. I'm just, man, I'm going to do what I always did forever and ever and ever. I'm just going to keep on hustling, man. I don't even know how to define it. It's just what I do every day when I wake up. I'm thinking, how do we advance this? How do we grow this? How do we keep pushing, man? You know what I mean? Yeah. I would, I would, I, I, I would never, ever like pull up in a motherfucking Lambo in a Rolls Royce and not have a, a multimedia facility with with producers and artists and all this shit that I need to keep doing what I do and love. I, Man, I'm, I'm I'm all about the music, man. The music. Like they got a nigga. I don't think they understand that you got a whole goddamn fortress, nigga. Where we can do everything in one now. I, but I always had that shit. I didn't have yeah. that shit. The first chance I could get, I bought a studio and had a yeah. place where it wasn't just having a studio though. It was always a place where people out that could get close to me that I knew was super talented come fuck with me. Like yeah. years and years of niggas that. That that was dope, nigga. Niggas that was dope was flocking to come make music where I was at because I always had that environment, man. 
Compl- but you got to think longevity, nigga. Bro, you go back to the 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 spices, the two pops. You don't hear people don't understand how long, nigga. And this this two thousand motherfucking twenty right now, nigga. <laughs> like, nigga, I don't yeah. think they really realize. But um, yeah, they all the little the little homies, man. They all the little homies. Pimp C, all them was my little homies. I, I was yep. See, people people don't even know Pimp was with you the day before he passed. Like people, it, man, it's a lot of history. People don't know. They just gotta learn. But you know, I was thinking about short. Nigga, I've been banned from radio worldwide. This is going to be the 11th year. So, nigga, if it wasn't for my independent hustle, nigga, I would have been gone somewhere. But All right, now check this out. I feel like, man, if that's what happened, that's what was supposed to happen. Like, you wouldn't even, the, the, the way your career rolled, it wouldn't even be the same career if you had radio. You like, they, they did something when they, when they, the day you realized, oh, shit, radio ain't never going to play me. That made you a whole different nigga. Yeah, they sparked the right seed. Yep, that it made me feel like nigga, I gotta prove everybody. They got me fucked up. You see yeah, what I'm saying? saying like, the radio stations told me they was gonna ban me. They sent faxes and emails out saying, "Don't play his music because he's a bad character." And I, I, all I said to myself was, "I did not try to fight the system." I was like, "Nigga, how do you ban a street artist? How does a radio station ban a street artist? I don't get that shit." So if the thing I, is, I, but I they did, they always it. forget. They forget they not street. So the shit that they think they control. I went on about my business, and then one day they just played my records again. I'm like, okay, fuck with yeah. it. You know, man, it's it's so, it's just dope. And then not only that, man, it's, it's so many, man, some of the most creative people come from the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Come mm-hmm. the independent route. You know, a lot of people hear these majors and, and see a lot of these artists that's so big, but you may catch a little homie that's at a show that it may not be number 50 people in the crowd. This nigga probably dope as fuck. Uh, a star yeah. to be made. You know what I'm saying? I seen it. Yeah, and, and it have, it never <laughs> failed like that, man. You got you got Lears, you got the Knicks, Andre 3000s that ain't nowhere near thinking about a maze. You got the Knicks, Pimp C's. You got the Knicks, Shorts. You know what I'm saying? It, it's so many creative little niggas out there, man. That's why I always grab a lot of them and Cause me, I'm borderline. The old heads respect me, mm-hmm. but the youngest look up to me. So I'm it right so in the middle. How, how is it in Houston right now? How, the young homies with the uh, independent mind frame. How is it? It's dope because you know right now we don't really. It's it's double sided because we got a couple of the biggest artists in the game. You know you got uh, Lizzo and and yeah you Megan. got Lizzo you got Tra- Travis Scott shit he mm-hmm. one of he down at a rock star level now then <laughs> the little homie Don Tolliver who Travis signed you know he was on Eminem shit and now he doing his thing you you got uh but then on the flip side you got so many up and coming artists that's even doper you know what I'm saying man it's I ain't gonna lie so it's too many motherfucking names I, I try to name a few you got like Bloodbath you got like 30 uh 30 ways you got like uh, Lil Jeremy, you got D-Lo, you got Cal Wayne, you got Jay. Like so many, you know, man. It's so many people you can. It's too many to name. I hate naming people because then they'd be like, "Bro, you ain't name me." Even and, down and to my little brother Jayton, and, and they all got movements. Yeah, everybody got their own movement mm-hmm. and their own fans. You know what I'm saying? And nigga, believe it or not, there's probably two or three more Travis Scotts out here in the city of Houston. People just ain't discovering them yet. You know what Did I'm saying? Know- Turf, that, what's in, up? that independent uh, state of mind is a. Uh, it, it, it don't matter where you end up at in the game if you got that independent, just that thought process. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's you just, got it's, to. It's, it's, it's gonna serve you good, man. I love where I'm from. I love the Bay. I, I listen to uh, all the Bay shit coming out, man. That shit is like, it's just motherfuckers. Just you know, they, they got an empire right there in the Bay. That's a beautiful thing. The yeah. empire is based in the Bay. Uh-huh. And, and, and Empire's whole little spirit is, is you know, Gazi. You know, it's, it's, it's that Bay thing. Hey, but Still, you know, Gazi, he, even though he fuck with everybody across the world, he dedicated to the Bay. Yeah, that's, that's nice. it. So it's you like, know what I'm we, we constantly preaching that, uh, put it out to yourself, do it yourself, you know, build it up. And if you're going to go to a major, build it up to where it's worth something when you go to a major. You know what I mean? Walk in that yeah. motherfucker with, with your head up high and say, this is what I want. Earn that shit. Yep, and when you do that, you make you make them respect you a lot more. See the thing with me, bro, they can't, nigga, they can't flash no money. They can't do nothing that's gonna excite me. Everything they, that's just like you know, it's crazy. 
one of my big one of my biggest businesses is located in the bay. You know, Bump Box. I'm one of the owners of Bump Box. We located in the bay. You see what I'm saying? So I love, I love, I love. I got two or three of them motherfuckers. I love my Bump Box. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. For Matter of fact, everybody on here, we doing a sale right now since everybody getting their stimulus. It's twenty percent off any Bump Box. Just go to bumpbox.com. But the thing is, see, even with that, that's independent hustle. I'm not only thinking about rap, nigga. I'm thinking about fifty million other things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it like even though we're talking about music, just the independent hustle in general gonna make you do all kinds of different shit. That was my one of my biggest uh, uh, downsides of being involved with a major label is the, the, when you make business moves, they always try to like be a part of it or yeah. shut it down or just 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 they just be fucking fucking up too much. So I'm like. Uh, uh, things got a lot better after the major major label years, man. For me, they got a lot better. And I'm I'm gonna tell you, me and E40 were signed to the same label. And if you see how later in his career, shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We was popping on the major <coughs> labels, popping. But after the shit, the shit just gets way better once you get away from that shit. It just unless because you're the, unless you're the number one dog in the 360, nigga, you popping. That's a good look. Good yeah, look. and you gotta again, man, just. All the money that be made. It's not even we can go to Mozzie. Mozzie, my little brother, man. That nigga that nigga became a millionaire independently. Quickly. <laughs> Easily. Quickly. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then if you with the right independent people, see, cause the game with, with Gazi and them, like no lie, I Gazi showed me so much. You know, me and him got a brother relationship to where it wasn't even about the music. I didn't know nothing about motherfucking sound exchange. Bro, I, I came to get my sound exchange money so late in the game, <laughs> I lost 10 years worth of my shit. You see what I'm saying? But you, if you give it the right independence, they'll show you the game. Because, you know, yeah. niggas didn't know you get, every time you get numbers on these YouTubes and everything else, that, that's money you got just sitting there. So if you give it the right people that share the game with you, it only elevates you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it brings all of it back. I'm, and I'm going to tell you what else, um, the creative part of it, the creative part where you know what you want to be as an artist. Like, I always knew that I could make songs that could play on the radio, but I always knew that niggas really love me for songs that are just street songs that could never yeah. be radio shit. And I couldn't get the major label to understand that whole dynamic of Too Short that that the part of the reason why I was going platinum was because of the street shit I did. And the mm -hmm. other part of the reason I was going platinum was because of the radio play I was getting and the exposure I was getting. It was a mixture. It wasn't one or the other. Yeah. They, just, they just be looking at like the hits and the hot shit. And I'm like, that that B side shit's the shit. If I could have, if I if I could have been, if I would have been independent on songs like uh like Blowjob Betty and, and Don't Fight the Feeling, them would have been videos and shit. I don't even got videos for them old songs because the 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 image was you gotta make a video to the clean song to the to good radio song. And I'm you know, thinking back like nigga, if I was a young nigga with a freaky tales video, that shit would be legendary. For real. Bro, I'm talking about some of them street records don't even have videos and still be the biggest thing moving. And mm -hmm. true for not, even when you go into concerts, when we go do concerts, some of the records that never even thought about being radio is the one that's gonna get the whole right. wall to wall amped yeah. up. Exactly. Yeah. I already know, man. I already know. So we on the same page, man. I just I'm I'm really preaching to the uh the OGs, man, to you know, respect the young niggas hustle because they're having a good time. Hopefully we have fun. We as little young ass niggas and the best we could do now is uh is to just give a nigga some real game. You know, you ain't gotta be mad if you take it or not, just give a nigga some real game. That's what that's what I appreciated for my OGs when I was a youngster. I honestly when I was a youngster I took in the OG game, but I fucking did. We was young and wild, man. Fucking did man, what we wanted to do. We you know fun. something I never told? So well, a lot of people know, first and foremost, my first time ever being really exposed to the world was through DJ Screw. That was our radio back then. You know what I'm saying? If mm -hmm. you made it on the Screw tape, hands down, in the city of Houston, you felt you That's made it. That's the reason it. why I'm a big artist in Houston is because of Screw. Right. And you know, that was, that was my, yeah, that was my brother slash my motherfucking teammate, you know what I'm saying? That's who brought us in. But the crazy thing, you know who I learned to sell CDs out the trunk with was South Park Mexican and Rashid. 
a lot of people don't know. South Park was the first one. I, I did a lot of shows with him, too. Oh, uh, yeah. He was the first person to come grab me. I was with Dope House when I very first started. And I used to watch the nigga just go to different cities and just make a killer, man. And, and that's what, you know, I was like, shit, I, if they could do it, I could do my own thing. And we would roll, and I'd go out there, and my hustle became him like no other. I was aggressive with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been that uh, way to this day. I remember that other motherfucker, Chingo Bling with the uh, tamales. Yeah, he, he made a killer. You know, he's doing comedy was, now. Yeah, this, I, I, would, I wouldn't doubt it. This motherfucker was doing shows, getting paid. Actually selling tamales outside the concert. <laughs> yep. And all they all they paid and they for was just to see him. They just wanted to see him in that cowboy hat and then in them glasses and shit. Yeah. They, Matter of fact, shout out uh, shout out to Turk in here too, because you know when they hold way with the hot boys, you know, them them niggas created a whole nother way independently before they went major too. So yeah, shout out Turk. I seen you in here too. It's uh, the young rappers in Houston, they they still like like the old older rappers in Houston was always like South Side, North Side, Fifth Ward, Third Ward, all that shit. It's, it's still it's still like that. I mean, they are it, 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 they are everywhere, but a lot of the the younger ones now, a lot of them deal with each other. You know what I'm saying? Because you still do have people like myself and other old heads that get out here like it's about getting this money. It ain't about separation. It's about shit. Yeah. We just stand for what's right. We get out there and get it. You know what I'm saying? So. It's a lot of talent, man. A lot of, believe it or not, man, a lot of stuff. But it's been that way for, for, for the life of it, man. Like, our culture still spread. You got to realize about, when What you, about the woofers in the trunk, man? It's still... It's, yeah, yeah, of course, you know, we still got that. We got the swingers, you know, that, that shit, the candy painted, that ain't gonna ever change. The grills, which mine ain't in right now, but, you know, it never changed. Like, you got to think, bro, like, you got a big artist like Bryson Tiller, right? Mm -hmm. If people ever really pay attention to, to Bryson or even Drake, for example, mm -hmm. a lot of their a lot of their culture come from, from Houston, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like the sounds of the, the music and, and the slow hooks or the slow yeah, um, melodies. Yeah, it's just so people got to understand we always been dominant as far as our culture being spread across the board, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I, I fucks with Houston music for real, for real. Same yeah, but shit though, man. I, my, my shit is uh, I, I speak for the bay too. My shit is uh, all about the bass, the woofers in the trunk. It's mandatory that if you got the hottest song at the moment in the city, it gotta be something that they bump in their car. You can't yeah. be the hottest song if niggas don't want to bump it in there. If they, everybody riding on the street ain't bumping you, you're not the hottest song. That's yeah. just what it is. Yeah, I mean that's that that's fact. One only thing I say different in Houston with that is a lot of the younger ones it, it transitioned from the cars to the phone. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you get it, so it's, 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 it's a mixture of both. Same concept. We didn't have no phones like when we was youngsters to walk around and just playing songs. But now, yeah, yeah. But but now you know same thing. If, if they listen to it in the streets, they fucking with you. So. Yeah, cause the, and then we always we all you got you got to think like even with pops, you know Jay Prince, you know I I call him my pops, you know I, I got a lot of game from him and we got a father son relationship. Like he, even with him, he still keep his hands tied in and different stuff. Like you know he had the people would never know he had the the YBN Corday and all them them little cats. What are they from the Bay or where they from? They from the area. Uh, I don't know, but I I know about them though. Yeah, them they you know they got they got the movement. The Shout out Bun, uh, Bun on here too. Shit, Bun definitely know the independent route. Probably when you get off with me, uh, short you probably need to log him in. But uh, man, people don't even know this, right? So, and I'm I'm pretty sure Bun though he he may know he might he might not. Man, I go so far back with just being in the game, Bun, and then was with Big Time Records, bro. And um, I had an older play sister from the hood and <laughs> they sent her to the house i'll never forget they sent her to the house with boxes of cds right you had a cd in one box the tray in one box the tray card in one box and then the case nigga a whole bunch of little niggas from the hood, we put these cds together that was before people even know oh, knew yeah, about it. Hand package that shit, yeah. yeah but I'm, I'm but it's a funny story to me because i was Packaging shit and it was shit with with bun, uh, screw, 
Um, yeah. It was a whole bunch of them on there at once, you know what I'm saying? But that's how yeah, far back go over here by the cases, you go over there and get the um, you get the fucking uh, the sleeve and shit made with the artwork, and you go over there and get the motherfucking shit made. So look, I, I'm gonna end it with this. You know what? My <laughs> first demo, my first demo freestyle, I did it on. It was like on the, uh, at a karaoke, and guess what motherfucking song I did? My very first rap on the beat to. What's that? Cocktails. Oh, yeah, that's their fun. Okay, okay. <laughs> Bruh, look, if I could find that shit, I'd never let nobody hear that shit in life. But the fact is, I know and I can see it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, yeah. I never let nobody hear that shit, boy. H-Town, um, man. The Bay, the Bay and H-Town, man. You know, that's that independent shit, man. Y'all better get up on it. Uh, if you from it and you're about it, if you're not from it, you need to get with it. That independent hustle is the real shit. That bass, yeah. that funk in the trunk, that's that shit. For, real. for sure, for sure, man. Make sure y'all go get the record pull up short. Just put our feature myself. I don't know when he putting the video out, but the video been done and it's ready. I posted it on my page. I'm gonna post it again a little later on. It's on the and way, I, I'm probably gonna jump up and, and do a talent show later on, so we are gonna crank it up. And and they be they be wild and late late night short, so you, it's something you might enjoy. <laughs> I'm gonna tap in on that for sure. <laughs> my nigga, man. Hey, I see you in a minute, boy. For sure, love you. All right, all right. One.